Hello, my friend. In this video, we are discussing company core values, how to make values measurable and not subjective. This is from an interview we did with Chris Edmonds, author of Good Comes First. This is Business Leadership Today. I'm your host, Matt Tenney. So if you've got performance standards and they're defined and there's specific targets, they could be numbers, they could be percentage growth, what it is, whatever it is, how often do you pay attention to that? Well, right. depending upon the organization, it's daily, some are hourly, right? Some are quarterly. If, they're, if you're publicly held, there's that Wall Street demand right. and it can create systemic panic that this is the only thing that's important. And so there are... And I, and I ask, I ask leaders again in our two-day offsite. So, who are your benchmark stars that do it well, whatever it is? But they're nice, they're respectful, they're civil, they follow up, they begin to start to almost model the integrity or honesty or excellence value that you want. Some will go, "Well, I got a guy that does the fun value really well." It's like, <laughs> okay, but let's let's look at the combination because what you're trying to accomplish is create a safe environment where people can be their best. Right. And, and most, most of us have had some degree of that, right? We've had some pretty good bosses and it could have been luck of the draw. I found a great boss and I followed him for 10 years. He called me the stalker, but his, <laughs> his experience to create a sane experience for us was key. So in essence, what I've tried to do is to say, just as you formalize measurable performance targets and you coach to those, we need to now do the other half of your job, which is to create a respectful workplace. Well, what does respect mean? Well, we can get 20 answers from 10 different people, much less 20. So let's define your desired values in observable, tangible, measurable terms. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use one of my um, clients. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I, I won't tell you who they are because it really doesn't matter. Because they do. They do really, really cool stuff. Uh, and this is a financial services organization. So one of their values is service, and it's obviously service to their clients. And their clients are everything from businesses to individuals, etc. So. Mm. I'm going to say, here's, this is, this is Michael's uh, most recent, we did this two months ago for them. We run the value surveys because that's kind of an interesting, weird skill set to do. So we run them for them. So, one so this of is their, Michael, a leader being assessed by his direct reports on how well he's living these values. Absolutely. Value, right? So, okay. Got it. and, and in essence, what, what we're able to do is to say, if you want direct report data, which is the most actionable, that's easy to do, but you may also want, especially for senior leaders, indirect reports. You know, how mm -hmm. is Mike seen day to day as, as the CEO, CFO, right? Whatever. Right, yeah. But all of the formal leaders in their organization are being held accountable to these mm -hmm. service values. So let me share these. One is Michael listens objectively to others without interruption. Interesting. I can go to my family life and ask my <laughs> daughter to see if I do that. And sometimes I do, right? We get into habits. Right. And yet, if people don't feel heard, they're not going to be able to provide great service. So this, note the way this behavior is stated. It's about Michael's behavior that is observable, tangible, measurable. I don't ask if Michael smiles at me when I see him, because that's not a behavior. Um, I may want Michael to be convinced that this quarter's targets are, are, you know, absolutely easily achievable. That's internal. I want behaviors. And this is about respectful treatment. So here's another one. Mike follows through. If he doesn't know the solution, he finds it and follows through. Now that's an interesting mm. behavior. I tried to coach them that sometimes follow through is different than, saying you don't know, we might want to split those into two different items. Says, no, oh, this is our behavior. We want to keep it. And it works really, really well. Simple one. Customers and peers find Mike easy to work with. That's interesting because it can be internal folks might need different skills, different data, different information, different kind of right responsiveness than right. a customer might. And a business customer will need different things than a 
individual customer. It's very interesting. Um, one of the, I want to, I want to share this one if I can. These are three values from their, uh, excuse me, behaviors from their integrity value. Uh, and that's going to be so helpful because so, so many people list that as a value and it's so vague, Absolutely. Right. And, and, and the trick is again, I'm pleased to be able to say I'm literally reading off Mike's custom value survey profile <laughs> right. from two months ago. Right. And we do bar graphs and whatnot, but this is data from 52 people that are his direct and indirect reports in this right. organization. Being so, measured on these three specific behaviors on, that absolutely. are representative of living that value, right? Absolutely. Okay. And, and one of the biases I have is that we don't do a five point scale. We do a six point scale. You don't need 10 points. Well, why don't you have a middle ground? Because people will pick it. We <laughs> right. want to know if there's an edge one way or the other. Right. And by the way, on a six point scale, the only desirable answers for, for observed behaviors is I agree with the statement or I strongly agree with the statement. So we're right. looking for employees, honest reflection of how does this boss behave? So let me give you these integrity. Let's do Mike it. takes responsibility for his actions and learns from his mistakes. Hmm. Now, again, those are maybe that, that could be a two tailed item right on our, right. our survey, but, but if we get feedback that there's a, you know, this is not a four, excuse me, five or six scale um, kind of score on our six point scale, then that's, that's something to dive into. That's something right. to coach. Second one is Mike upholds the values of the company with dignity and respect. Mm. I love that. Me too. That seems to be it, one of one of the most crucial aspects of integrity is, are you living in alignment with your own values and the values of the organization, right? You could say you want to do something, but are you actually doing it, right? And, and it's, it's it, as you might guess, one of the big sales jobs I need to do with senior leaders is you're going to get this feedback twice a year. And, and well, these employees don't know what I deal with, but they see how you behave. Right. If we're going to, if we're going to set a standard of these behaviors, you got to get feedback. Right. Uh, last one in the integrity section is, is Mike talks it and walks it. So this mm. is the, his actions demonstrate his words, which is exactly Matt, what, what just you reiterated there. And what this enables us to do is to allow these leaders to have a regular touch point twice a year is, is not insanely too frequent. Mm. Um, but once every three years is not helpful at all from a day-to-day -day actionable standpoint. Right. So every one of these leaders gets a formal profile they get debriefing from me or one of my peers and, and in essence it's if your average right six point scale if your average is below the five mark that's a problem right so we can coach to that we can refine that um there there these behaviors all of a sudden become much more tangibly important when you can measure them we hope you found this video valuable. If you'd like to listen to the entire 30-minute interview, please visit our website at businessleadershiptoday.com. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and opt in for notifications. Until next time, I wish you great success building a world-class organization that improves the lives of employees and makes a positive impact in our world.